Starting next week and until November, the first ever national road show for businesses that fall within the micro, small, and medium categories will kick off, extending to the far reaches of the country through every district. It is an initial attempt by the Briseño administration to propel these businesses to sturdier ground and give them a chance to further develop through what is called a national policy and strategy for MSMEs. At the helm of all of this is Beltrade, whose chairperson, CEO Narda Garcia, explained what the end goal is. The national MSME strategy and the accompanying roadshow will ensure that key factors affecting MSME's operations and comp competitiveness are addressed and that the adequate support is extended to them to overcome, overcome the challenges they face. The National SME Roadshow will run from August to November 2022, culminating with this year's Entrecon, the National Entrepreneurship Convention, an event that creates a space for over 200 entrepreneurs and like-minded business persons from across the country to dialogue, learn, and share innovative ideas. Prime Minister John Briseño shared his personal story decades ago when there was no system in place to help MSMEs, when he and his brother had to use their mother's home as their collateral. For them at that time, he said, if the business failed, it meant that they and their mom would have no house. But the new strategy and policy provides a sense of hope for businesses that have nothing and nowhere to start, he explained today. Our measurements can be, will be simply by seeing how many more businesses we can create, how many more jobs are being created, how we can be reducing poverty. How do you open it up to everybody, including those who maybe in the past have bad credit, but they want to press the reset button? Those people who might, at first glance, be eliminated from the uh, lending um, institutions? Ones. That, that's, that's a good question. Um, how, how we can do this is that they can come now in within a formal structure to Bell Train and to look at them and well to go there and to say to let to say this is my new project and this is how I could so I believe I will succeed. And then Bell Train can help them to be able to to even strengthen the whatever project that they that they may have in mind or product that they may have in mind. And through the US fifteen million dollar loan that we have been we're doing through the IDB that money will be able to, to be able to give access to people who have not um, be, that have failed before. One small entrepreneur who has been successful in her business venture, Sheena Smith, shared what the challenges are leaping into private venture and making it blossom. One of my biggest takeaway from being an entrepreneur is working with other female entrepreneurs. Um, I came into it with the idea, and I think that a lot of people believe that women don't support women, but I'm just here today to say that that's not true. Um, being an entrepreneur and meeting other women who are doing the same things, we were able to lean on each other, and it makes you realize that you're not alone. Being a wife, a mother, um, and also an entrepreneur, you're also the producer, the designer, social media manager, marketing, sales, um, customer service, and then sometimes I also do delivery. And so it's a lot to take on, and it's good to have somebody to talk to. Minister of Tourism, Anthony Mahler, whose ministry stands to play a big part in this venture, shared his view that the government must create an enabling environment for the private sector to thrive and the start of a new effort through the strategy and roadshow and all that it will offer people in these sectors. In Belize today, MSMEs account for up to 90% of all businesses and 50% of our labor force. In the tourism industry, the average size hotel is 10 rooms, and most of our tour operators, restaurants, bars, gift shops, and other businesses that make up the industry are considered to be MSMEs. Even though we are working tirelessly to provide support for MSMEs, there are still too many of these businesses that lack the fundamentals needed for growth and development. They lack access to affordable financing. Many lack technical expertise. They lack understanding of scale. 
understanding of making data-driven decisions, and the importance of marketing and product development. The government has also committed to engage in business with at least 20% of micro, small, and medium businesses by March of 2025 through tendering contracts. Reporting for News 5, I'm Marian Ali.